Harris, right side inside the arc, fires it left corner. Watson catches shoot three. This slips the screen and then tries to fire it down low. It got tipped, but it got through to Rubin, and he slams it home. The double team regains control, finds Alston open to the hoop, and he skies and flushes it home with two hands. So getting to the hoop, Quinn misses the reverse lay, but a delicate flies in for the offensive rebound. Ramblers keep the ball. A delicate gets the inbounds pass. 2.45 to go first half to Kane by three. Norris catches top of the key, long three, and Braden Bang. continues his torrid stretch from three-point range. Just about in sync. Ramblers can hold for the final shot. Instead, Alston going right to left across the lane. Bounces right, Norris, and then the Welch baseline reverses it up and in. Now Watson gets the pass from Norris. Left side three, Ooh, another shot. three for Dez Watson. Iso against Dixon, brings him all the way down at the front of the rim, actually underneath the rim. Center court logo, push pass left, Dawson catches 15 feet, rise, fire, hit. How about that? A little curl for a 15-footer. Ramblers lead by one with 5.17 to go second half. Calling for a screen, Norris the floater off the window and in. Reaching out in front of everybody, he ends up laying it in. Left side three with two seconds left, no good, and the Ramblers will win. 72-67 to win their fourth straight game and go to 2-0 in the Atlantic 10, wiping away an 11-point first-half deficit, outscoring Duquesne 36-27 in the second half to win 72-67.